Hi, we are going to be doing a printmaking project. Printmaking is so fun. Printmaking is basically making your own stamp. There are many different types of printmaking, like woodcut prints, where artists remove parts of the wood, leaving a raised design. Then the artist rolls ink onto the design and prints it on a piece of paper. That way, the artist can make many, many prints of their same exciting design. Can you see how the print comes out to be a mirror image of the design? Artist Latoya Hobbs is a woodcut printmaker. She makes lots of artworks by trimming away pieces of wood from a wood block. Can you see how she has added lots of detail? The parts in white are what she has removed from the printmaking block. The black parts are where the ink has been rolled onto the wood. This print called the Great Wave is one of the most famous prints of all time. It was made a very, very long time ago by an artist named Hokusai. Linoleum prints, often called lino cuts, are very similar. An artist uses some tools to remove parts of the linoleum so that only some parts stick up. That way they will print ink onto the paper. Etching is a very different type of printmaking. The artist removes some of the surface of the printing plate and the ink goes down into the lines and prints the lines that the artist has drawn. The artist must use chemicals to make this process work. Artist Kim Wang uses the etching process to make lots of portraits of animals and celebrities. M.C. Escher is another well-known artist who used a lot of printmaking. He really liked to use lithography, which is a type of artwork that is made on limestone. Drawn with oil, then water is added to it, then paint is rolled over it. The paint only sticks to the oil, leaving a beautiful print of whatever the artist has drawn. This print is of a very famous painting called The Scream by Edvard Munch. Screen printing uses a big screen with some parts of the screen blocked off. Then an artist pulls paint across the screen. Whatever is not blocked off gets printed on the thing below. Artist Andy Warhol made lots of screen printing designs. He was a very famous pop artist. Pop artists make pictures of things that are popular, like celebrities and other well-known things. This is his screen printing of Marilyn Monroe. He also made lots of things like Campbell's soup or shoes. He loved to use lots of bright colors and repeat things a lot. Here is an example of a printmaking project that I made. Here are some other examples. Here is a Christmas tree. And this one was a starfish. I drew it on a piece of paper first and then traced it onto my stamp. It was really fun to use because I can use different colors to stamp it when I'm done. Here's how you get started. First, you'll need a piece of paper to draw on. This is not your stamp, but it will be used to put onto your stamp You'll trace it again and then your design will show up on your stamp. This is a piece of styrofoam paper that is specially made, especially made for printmaking. We need to start with a pencil. <clears throat> your design could either be the tall way or the wide way. It's up to you. Okay, I've made my design. Now let's talk about my design. I've got some spots right here that are really close together. Those are not going to show up very well on my stamp. I do have some details that I've added, but I have a lot of blank space on this project. That is okay, but you might want to see if there is any other way that you can add detail to your work. Maybe you can add a pattern in the background or some interesting lines. and that can make your stamp even more exciting. But be careful not to add too much because remember, if we have tiny details like this, that is not gonna show up very well. 
So if they're very close together, erase your lines and redraw them so that they are farther apart. Even this spot right here that's right next to the outer part of the eye, I might need to erase that and move it over a little bit. Okay, one more thing we need to know. All words will come out backwards. So even if you're just trying to add your name to your stamp, please do not add any words or names in your stamps. Any letters or numbers will all come out backwards. We take a look at this Christmas tree. What will happen is you will put some printing ink on the front of your stamp, then you will turn it over like this and press it down onto a piece of paper. Then when you peel it up, your stamp will be backwards. Can you see that this stamp is a mirror image of what I drew before? So if I have any words on there, if the words are the right way on my stamp, they're gonna come out a mirror image of the words. When you are ready to transfer your design to the stamp paper, which I am not ready, I'm not gonna trace this part because I don't want that to show up on my design because it will be backwards. So I'm gonna erase that. And I'm just gonna put my name on the back of this so that we know it's mine. When you're ready to transfer this to your actual stamp paper, you can lay your design over the top of it. Now this one does not fit perfectly. There might be a little bit of extra space on there that doesn't fit. Just try your best to line it up along one edge. You're just gonna add tape on one side. And we can use the masking tape. Just tear off a little piece. Now you need to put this on there the long way like this. Do not put it on like this, because if you do, your paper will shift side to side while you're trying to trace it. You want your paper to hold very still so it doesn't move, but we don't want to tape it on too much because then you might have, a trouble, have trouble getting it off again. We want to be able to take this off so that we can print your stamp. If it's taped around all the sides, it will probably break when we try to take it off. Here we go. This does work best if you use a dull pencil. Trace your lines carefully and slowly. If you go off the lines a little bit, like that, do not trace over it again like this because those lines will both be there and that might look a little bit silly. So if you go off the lines, just keep going. It's okay. Now, if you mess up a lot and you wanna start over, you could use the back of the stamp paper, but I'm not gonna be giving you a bunch of extra stamp papers because they're kind of expensive. And we've got the whole school doing a printmaking project. So I need to make sure that I've got enough for all of my Bowmanwood students to be able to have their own stamp. When you are done tracing your design onto your stamp, you can remove the paper. You don't need it anymore. Just turn it over like this, place your hand on the back of the stamp to hold it steady, and carefully peel it off. Then all you need is your stamp. I still need to trace this a few more times before I'm done, but I could write my name on the back. That way I can give it to Mrs. Krause and leave it here so I can use it next time. Once everyone has finished making their stamps, we will have a separate day with lots of paint set up in the room so you can use a roller called a brayer and you can roll on paint and then press the stamp onto some paper. We can even use many different colors over the same stamped spot so that it gives a really cool layering effect. We can also use markers to create stamps. And we will try using some other things to create some extra fun stamping projects. Have fun with printmaking!